It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I'm super excited to bring you an Indian lager. It's not Kingfisher, it's not Cobra. This is authentic Indian beer. Crisp and refreshing lager called Beer 91 in a 650 milliliter bottle coming in at 4.5% ABV. I picked this up in an Indian kind of like your, you know, you like your regular Indian corner shops where you can buy anything from crisps or milk, cheese and bread, you know, your, your staple daily stuff. It's called Cardiff Discount Drinks. But when they bought the shop, they explained to me that yes, they took on this kind of like supermarket that was run by local people at the time. But it had this thriving beer scene. They had this like one wall dedicated to beer. So on one side of the shop, you've got bread, milk, cheese, space raiders, you know, you know the type of shop I'm talking about, cans of Coke, sweets, crisps. And then the other side, you've got this massive beer wall. And, and they explained to me, because the owners are now um, Asian, Asian owners. Um, they, they explained to me that there was such a big connection there in Whitchurch in Cardiff with this shop that we simply had to carry on people coming in and asking for these beers so they just carried on bringing in fantastic beers from around the world and yeah yeah so this is from Mizuru district Karnataka in India it's blooming brilliant isn't it look at that I love that love the branding love the look it's obviously competing with Kingfisher and Cobra because it's in that large 650 milliliter bottle it's in a brown bottle it's got a nice bottle cap branded bottle cap yeah i think i'm quite excited by this off the top of my head i think it was about two pound fifty something like that to buy it wasn't like it was a pretty decent price for a beer especially for what you get Whoa, look at this. So a light colored lager then, very light to look at, good levels of carbonation, straw colored beer, four finger white head, yeah, 4.5% ABV. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Let's get the aroma. Oh, yes. Now then, this smells really crispy. This has got all the hallmarks of a decent German lager. But of course, it's Indian. A little bit of stinging nettle on the back end, a little bit peppery, a little bit spicy. Lovely light malt, wafer like aromas coming through. So a nice balance to the beer. Should we, should we get into this authentic Indian lager then? Cheers, everybody. Fabulous. Straight away, Stone the Crows, fabulous. It just kicks you with this instant. First of all, and all this is happening very quick, it's like micro milliseconds in your mind. The beer starts off, you think, refreshing, carbonated, floral, it's hoppy. It's crisp. It's refreshing. I mean, it's raining here in Wales yet again. Um, but my point here is that if it was a lovely hot summer's day, or if you were drinking this in the 
hot sunshine of India, then this is going to go down an absolute treat. So yeah, superbly refreshing, fantastically smooth, drinkable, refreshing, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant beer. This, I mean, of course, they... we've had some success with Indian brewing. But it's like like Kingfisher and Cobra. I'm pretty sure that it's all like UK. It's Indian people brewing it in the UK. I don't think, at least if I'm wrong, I do apologise. But I don't think Cobra or Kingfisher were initially brewed in India. And I think they were definitely kind of thought through definitely thought through in terms of pairing with Indian food dishes which are very popular in the UK it was almost made for having like whenever you go to an Indian restaurant in the UK no doubt there's either going to be Kingfisher or Cobra in the fridge what I'm trying to say here is I think this is a bit better I think what we have here is, is, is a better beer and it's authentic, it's Indian. <sighs> That's one of the nicest lagers. It's so clean and refreshing. Yet, there's a hint of hoppiness that comes through on the back end that is just fantastic. It's super smooth. They've they've obviously they, they've got some fantastic water from. They, they, they've either treated the water to make the water nice and soft, like a really nice soft water, or where the beer is brewed, they have a natural kind of soft water source because it's super soft. It's super crispy. It's lovely and refreshing and carbonated it starts off with light malt flavors a little bit of a hot bitterness on the back end it's floral this this is brilliant beer this really is brilliant beer beer in 91 if you can find this in the uk or if you're watching in india or wherever else in europe or the world and you come across this if you come across this Please do not leave it on the shelf. This is a wonderful example of, a, of an authentic Indian lager. And if I was Cobra or Kingfisher, as long as, as, long as of course, they leave the recipe alone. If they, if they leave the recipe to this, as it is right now, then... If I was the owners of Cobra or Kingfisher, I'd be slightly worried because this is great. Look at, look at the head, look at that lovely, looks very Czech or German, doesn't it? Let's rate it then. Look at that. Looks great, smells great, tastes great. I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. I'm going to give that a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Beer of 91. From Karnataka in India. Karnataka in India. Manufactured by MSB9 Beverages. Product of India. Beer of 91 Lager. But it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Um... I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.